quite interesting to see. Meanwhile, Cheeseburger is patient. He is patient, he knows how to wait, and he knows how to make every hit count. So this is gonna be a very good match. I love to see that anti-air, and yes, sir, that's the patience I'm talking about. I'm not gonna walk away, but I'm thinking it's not really gonna hit too many buttons at this rate. Oh my gosh, Kevin, mixing up the Hadouken. And not a single opportunity wasted by Cheeseburger. So the thing about this matchup that I think Kevin isn't really taking advantage of is that he has a fireball. He does, but the problem with it is his recovery on Fireball is so, that's just ridiculous. His recovery, his recovery on Fireball is so, is so bad that that could happen at any time. While this is true, that was at kind of like a predictable range that he could react to yeah, it. Yeah, like if he at least backs up, throws it out so that he can walk in behind it. Even then, like, it's, uh, the, the jump, uh, he's not projectile invincible, true. Yeah. But the, the arc that he jumps at is so, it's such a such a hop that even I, I, I've seen people dash forward afterwards and get hit. Meanwhile, Kevin, while we were talking, Kevin had pushed Cheeseburger to the corner. Yeah, but see, this is what I mean. He's yeah, using the yeah, fireball no. to make him jump, so now he can actually advance on him. Before, he was just walking at yeah. him. We're saying, like, I, I get the idea of using the fireball to make him jump, but it's going to be rough. Love that pressure. Get thrown. I'm not quite sure what he's going to do. It could be a bull head into the D trigger. He's looking for an excuse. And Kevin with the paper. Oh, Ooh, my God. baby. I'd be careful, Kevin. You don't want to get hit with that command throw. Five frame startup. It could be ticked into. There's uh, what I just talked about. Bam. Look at that damage. Another one. Oh, nice he sneeze. gets that sneeze. Oh, he tried, yeah. and it just was too early. Another one. Final round. All right, here comes the next round. Oh, wow, wow. Nice. Kevin Tech just did not care. Oh, and he's just getting crushed counters everywhere now. Oh, How wow. did you get hit by the second one? Oh, yeah, he didn't no. Realize. Not good. He's not dead, but he's going to have a lot of work to do after this combo. I don't even know if it's possible at this round. This is, this is looking like, all right, that was looking like seven gold, gold medals. All right. Wow. Well, pat yourself on the back for a moral victory and move on. All you can really do after that type of round is just go, all right. At least I didn't get perfected. I mean, in his head, he's thinking, I should have won that second game. So he might be slightly tilted, but hopefully he reset his mindset after that. But Good block! I'm glad to see uh, Kevin's working the fireball into his neutral game a bit more before he gets meter, at least. He's fighting good rates, but look at those heavy kicks! That he bet it all. Oh my god. At all. That damage. That, that that stun is now gone, which is even worse, and his positioning is also now gone. Yeah. Now remember that throw range that I talked to you about with Armika? Yeah, Birdie don't got that. <laughs> which is why at that range, the only thing you can really do is just start hitting normals and hope that something lands. Real rough. Oh, what nice a good anti-air. Anti -air. And yeah. Your throw is not that good, Birdie. Sorry. Look at that. Yes. Nice armor. All right. Well, he didn't get the crush counter, but he still did Ooh, get something good at it. This time the meaty. Oh my gosh! Look at you spin. Wow! Look at the crush I think he's gonna down. do another one. Yep. Yup. Wait. Another hit? one. Oh. Not yet. Okay. Nice try on the overhead. There it is. I think that's it. 